Okay, so here's a quick video on a few things you got to do to get the boat ready to take it out. The first is the uh, is the drain plug. I keep it up here in the cup holder. So the drain plug is out of the boat when it's on the lift because if there's like a big rainstorm, then the boat would fill up with water and it would be so heavy that it would collapse the lift. So before you lower the boat into the water, you gotta put the drain plug in. So here's the drain plug. You just slide it in the hole. It's a snug fit. Slide it in. I usually turn it, turn, rotate it one or two turns, and then you flip it up. And what it does is it squeezes and then the rubber expands in the hole. So now it's a good tight fit in the hole. Next step is the the battery switch. The battery is normally in the off position. When you're ready to use it, you flip it straight up and down. Now the, the battery's on, every everything's turned on. Next thing is the gas tank. It's gotta be vented when the motor's running. So when you leave it here, it could be raining or something, this little vent needs, is shut. That way rain water can't get inside of the gas tank. When you're using the boat, you just unscrew this little cap just to let the gas tank vent. And then before you start it, you want to, uh, this is a little primer bulb, so what it does is it pushes the gas from the tank up to the to the carburetors in the, uh, in the motor. So you want to just squeeze it, keep squeezing it. It'll kind of get tight in your hand. When it's tight, that means it's filled up the carburetors. So then the next thing you want to do is you want to let the boat down. You got the drain plug in, so you're not going to be getting any water inside. You want to let it down, but you don't want to let it all the way down until it floats because you want to make sure the boat starts. Because if it doesn't start and it's floating, now you're going to have to position it back on the lift. So just let it down. You see the little black ring on that plastic pole. When it gets to that black ring, then the boat will start floating. So when you get it down about this far, you can shut the lift off. The motor should be in the water enough so that it can suck water in so that the uh, water pump works. So now you come over here and you have this little, well normally you have, you know, your forward and reverse. So when you put it in gear, you start moving and then you, when you want to accelerate, you push forward. But when you're starting the boat, you don't want the propeller spinning. So this is like the gas pedal. So you pump it a couple times just to get some gas in the, in the motor. And then you just hit the key. And it's right idling too fast, so you just kind of back it down a little bit. Let it idle a little bit faster than normal until it warms up. One thing you want to do is you want to look see that there's water squirting out. So that means that the fuel pump, not the fuel pump, that means the water pump is actually pumping. You always want to periodically take a look at that, even when you're boating. If you don't see any water coming out of there, then you want to try to make sure, you may be overheating. So, I mean, the water pump is fairly new, so I don't think you're going to have any problems with that. But if you ever see that not squirting, get back home quick. But it shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, once it's warmed up a little bit, you just let the idle go down. And then you'll let the boat down all the way to that black line on the pole is under the water. You'll feel the boat, it starts floating. And this year I've turned the boat around so it's easier to get on and off the lift. You used to have to kind of make a little couple turns, like almost a three point turn to kind of get it lined up to come in this way. Now it's much easier. You just when you let the boat lift down and the boat starts floating, you just back it straight away towards the house. And it, again, at the end of the day, when you're done, you just pull it straight on up and you'll see the little black lines. You just line those up with the poles and then uh, just lift the boat back up. When you get in, you know, you wanna shut the motor off. 
the one thing I wanted to say about the ignition switch is it's kind of not really a mounted in there great. The switch is very easy to turn, but if you turn it too hard, you will actually rotate the switch around in circles. And there's wires on the back that'll get all twisted up and probably break. So just realize that you don't have to turn it hard. You'll just barely turn it and it starts. You don't have to crank it all the way around. So when you come back in, you just get it lined up where you want it, shut it off. And then I made another video on actually lifting the boat up. Uh, you can watch that. But uh, yeah, that should get you get you where you need to go. And there's a couple there's a couple light fest up on the front. There's ropes to tie up with. Uh, there's an anchor. If you go up on the beachy area up there, just pull the boat as far up on the beach as you can and then just take the rope that's hooked to the anchor hook it to the boat take the anchor up as far as you can and just wedge it in the sand so that the boat can't pull it pull it you know self off the sand while you're walking around up there there's a couple oars inside there so in case you know the boat does quit you know you're kind of on your own you'll have to row to shoreline if you're not too far away you could row all the way back if you are, you could call me or I'm going to try to get the little VHF radio hooked up so you could, you know, maybe flag somebody down. They could just hook up the rope and just kind of pull you back home and you'd be, uh, you'd be fine. It's running good, so I don't think you'll have any problems with it. And just when you get the boat lifted up, just, again, make sure that you take that, uh, that drain plug out so that it does rain. It'll, uh, it'll have a place for the water to run out and then just shut your vent back off cut off the battery and you're you're good to go so hopefully you get a chance to use it and everything works fine